Parts should be prepared before assembly. Preparation includes cleaning all edges, sanding where needed, and drilling holes. Test fit all parts before assembly. Install nuts in all recessed locations. Some will be lock nuts, so be sure to check the instructions. Now you can install the main components onto the front frame. Next we can assemble the front suspension. When connecting the A-arms to the spindle, be sure you get a good snap into place. You'll need to cut some 3mm rod for the pivot pins. Then position the assembly to the frame and install the pins. Some hammering may be required. Install the shocks. Cut to length and install the steering arms. When using the multi-piece skid rails, you'll need to glue them together. You can use screws to help in aligning and then clamps to hold them together as they dry. Install bearings into the idler wheels and nuts into the tension knob and tension axle. Then we will thread the M3 rod into the tension axle. Next we will install all of the crossbars. The tension axle can then be installed. Install the idler wheels, being sure to not forget the spacer. Now assemble the scissor and connect it and the torque arm to the skid. Be sure they move freely. Then attach the shocks. A limiter strap is necessary, especially if you're using long shocks. Press bearings into the carrier wheel and then install onto the scissor. Pre-drill holes and then we can begin to assemble the tunnel sides and then the tunnel sides to the tunnel center. The inside of the tunnel should be clean with no screws sticking in. Install the seat latch screws. Now we can attach the skid to the tunnel. Don't over tighten as these need to rotate. The frame can now be attached to the tunnel. Insert bearings into the outer plate for the transmission. An M5 screw and nut is used to support the motor shaft. Press in lock nuts. Attach the tension bolt mount to the outer plate. Install the idler pulley onto its arm. Install the M3x32 screw and then position the arm on it. Press bearings into the tunnel sides. Press nuts into the front sprocket. Insert the axle shaft through the bearing, then through the sprocket spacer, then through the sprocket, and through the bearing on the other side. Align the holes and then secure with screws. Now install your gears onto the axle and the motor shaft. Then install the belt. Position the outer plate and secure with screws. For track pins, I use finishing nails. 16 gauge, 2 inches long. With the pins in place, you can then heat the tab and fold over to cover the pins. The track can then be fed through and pinned together.
adjust track tension by spinning the tension knob. Check for smooth movement. Attach front grill, gas tank, left side panel, side cover, then install the caliper, attach the right side cover and its panel. Glue the detail to the shaft cover and then install. Glue headlight lenses into their case. Install into hood front. Attach the hood top to the hood front. Install the bolt display. Glue the seat cushion to the base. Now we can assemble all the seat components. Use soft springs and be sure movement is smooth. Position the hood and secure with gas cap. Handlebars can be installed. Secure the bumper, glue tail light lens, install tail light LEDs, then attach the snow flap. Install the foot rails, place the wire cover, and glue on the final details. Now go out and enjoy your awesome sled.